Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect that is um, also conducting this ministry, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, and our faith, the true and sincerity, and giving our diligence. Now, uh, the topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled What is the true meaning of brainwashing? Because, uh, you know, spiritual, I mean, to uh, speak on this particular subject concerning brainwash because, you know, you got um, people that are saying that, you know, this is brainwashing or, you know, the Bible, whenever you go into, you know, what they call religion, you know, it's brainwashing or, or you know, calling us a cult, you know, that, that, that term brainwashing has been, been thrown around a lot and really they don't know the, the meaning or should I say, they don't know what it really means to, uh, to brainwash. All right. You know, it's, it's just a, a play on word saying that you know just to uh, deride somebody you know saying that you're brainwashed you know to pretty much um uh, demoralize you for lack of a better term you know they call you you know basically calling you a zombie all right but the thing is, is that when you say brainwash really it means that your brain is clean you know for lack of a better term you know if, if you if you really think about it spiritually you know the term brainwashing you know you're literally um washing your brain what are you washing your brain of um the filthiness of the world the um uh, you know uncleanliness the um Anything that goes against the doctrine of Yahweh by Shimei all all manner of wickedness. All right, and actually, the Bible gives you a list of uh, different things to um, avoid. All right, in the Old Testament and New Testament, it tells you it gives you a list of things that the Most High hate and the things that He detests because. The most high is 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 pure. Alright. That's why scriptures say, uh, be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. You know, even though we're in the in the flesh now, but we strive for perfection. And by striving for perfection is is uh, adhering to the words of Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Therefore, that's how uh, you you cleanse your way, and that, that's spoken in the book of Psalms, where it says, "Um, how how will a young man a uh, young man cleanse his way?" And the answer to that is, is by following the words of you. How about Shemiah Shai? That is the only way to cleanse your your past, and not only that, to to, uh, to cleanse your your um your mind or your brain brainwash. All right. Because scriptures speak about having a clean, a clean uh, heart, or, or well, uh, pretty much jumped the gun on that one. Yeah, clean, clean heart. Because that word heart means uh, lob in the Hebrew, which means your mind. All right. So in this truth, you're supposed to have a clean mind. All right. Yeah, there are times to where. Some of us uh, might get those thoughts, you know, because we're we're in this flesh, man. You know, there's, there's nothing we can do until your hour shower returns, and we uh, shed these bodies. And that's pertaining onto First uh, Corinthians chapter 15. So until then. 
you know, we continually strive for perfection and we strive to accomplish the, uh, the state of having a, a clean mind, even though we're in this flesh, but yet we still fight for that, man. That's what actually that's what the word strive means to, uh, to fight for or to contend. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna get the book of Psalms chapter uh, 51 verse uh, 10. And it reads, uh, create in me a clean heart. All right. Which once again, heart means uh, your mind. All right. And, um, I'll like you. It's like you, um, that's right, man. So I'm gonna read this again. I said, create a man, a clean heart, O power and renew a right spirit within me. Okay. So, and that's actually Psalms 51 is a prayer towards, uh, Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. He's asking you how about Shemuel Shai to create a, a clean heart or a clean mind. All right. And renew the spirit. So by us doing this work and continually, continually being the scriptures, you're in the process of of obtaining a clean heart or a clean mind. All right. So whenever you know the brothers always have those those thoughts. Whenever the brothers do get one of those thoughts, you know those negative thoughts. Um. That's against you. How about Shemuel Shai? You know, uh, brothers send up prayers, or they just uh, combat that by going into the to the scriptures. All right. So now the next precept that I got here is uh, Psalms chapter seventy three verse one. It says, uh, "A psalm of Asaph. Truly, the Most High is good to Israel." Even to such as are of a clean heart. All right. And really, this starts with the elect because the elect is in the process of obtaining that clean heart, that clean mind. All right. So, truly, the Most High is good to Israel, starting with the elect, even to such as a clean, a clean heart, which, once again, that's the elect. All right. Because to the two thirds of our people are, um, their minds are, are completely on, 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 uh, worldly issues, man. The things that uh, concern the world. You know, they want they want what's here and now. You know, they can care less about what you how about Shemuel Shai wants. All right. And their mind is is uh their mind is focused on doing things which are wicked. Okay. So with that, once again, man, um, that just goes to show you that, you know, even though these these uh, these people saying that, you know, uh, you know, uh, condemning us, saying that, you know, we're brainwashed or we, you know, we don't think for ourselves. And you know, that's what that's what they say. But the thing is that they're on they're in the spirit of uh, doing their own thing. All right. Even the scripture tell you itself that, you know, it doesn't it's not what goes in a man which defiles a man, but it's what comes out of a man that defiles him. Okay? So in order to to uh even even attempt to reach that that level for lack of a better term, I'm gonna use that word level, because yeah, there, there are levels in this in this thing of ours. So in order to even reach or try to reach that level is is adhering to the words of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai. There's no other way, man. You know, you can't go to these um, these uh, TV evangelists to, um, to get that or you can't r read, you know, books that's written by um, Edomite authors or, or, or and, and not even that, man. Just just books in general that, that don't uh, pertains onto the scriptures. It's not going to help you, man. No, no sort of training is going to help you 
to uh, be able to uh, achieve this. It, only through Yahweh Bashim you are you are only going to be able to achieve that. And the most not, and the Most High knows who's who, so you can't will yourself into this thing. All right, only the ones who are worthy of that lot to be delivered is going to fight for perfection. They're going to fight to obtain that clean, the clean heart, man. They're going to pray to you. How about Shimei Shai first? Because it first starts with the name, right? They're going to pray to the name of you. How about Shimei Shai to ask for their um, ask to create in them a clean heart, man. I don't, and I know for know this for a fact because uh, Apostle Apostle Elder uh, Rakar, um, he prays this prayer, man. Now, I know he mentioned that in one of the um, street videos that that was put up. That, that was like some years ago, maybe like two or th two or three years ago. He um, put you know that video went up, and uh, Apostle Elder Rakar mentioned that. Yeah, this this is one of the prayers that that he prays. All right. So with that, man, um, pretty much hit the point on this video. Uh, once again, concerning um, brainwashing, that's what that what it really means to brainwash, man. It's, you know, and these these people have taken that term brainwashing and then used it uh, against us. But it's all spiritual, man. You know, and if, if you are spiritual, then you you'll be able to understand this this uh this topic if not then you know hey more power to you man but once again i want to give all praise on and glory to you how about shimmy out shy double honors to the apostles and hells a great millstone that uh real well and peace and safety to the whole feet lake that is um continually doing his work in all faithful and sincerity and with that i'm gonna say shalom